Hi everyone, uh, let's talk about uh, being a trainer. Sometimes uh, I was asked uh, about how to be a trainer. Even uh, I was asked, you know, how to be a good trainer. Honestly, I don't know whether I'm a good trainer or not, but I do love what I'm doing. And so far, I receive uh, a lot of uh, feedbacks, uh, positive feedback, you know, the participants attended my training, they're happy. Uh, they understand what uh, I'm trying to do. I was trying to deliver to them, and somehow uh, some also give some feedback on how I can improve uh, some areas. So it's still uh, good for me. Okay, for me, all feedback uh, are good feedback for me to improve. Anyway, come back to the first question: How to be a trainer? Okay, uh, and then I share with you uh, just from my experience. Okay. Uh, what make me you know feel comfortable as a trainer first of all okay how to be a trainer first uh, you need to know what subject we are we would like to train okay we need to know our subject matter okay what we are good at okay that's why we have we must have a very uh, deep knowledge eh? the keyword is knowledge okay uh, the knowledge on subject that we would like to talk about or what the subject they would like to train okay this knowledge, you know, we can acquire in many ways. Uh, for example, for me, okay, my area is energy management system. Okay, I need to get all the relevant knowledge, not just knowledge, but deep knowledge about energy management system. What it's all about, all right? Uh, how to develop the system, how to implement the system, how to monitor the system, how to improve the system, everything about the system. So we must have a very deep knowledge, okay, to uh, on the subject on the subject that they would they, they would like to train okay uh, to get the knowledge you know maybe from our academic qualification okay we talk let's say you are mechanical engineer you talk you want to train about mechanical engineering we we we, uh, we gain the knowledge from the our academic learning either from degree from uh, bachelor degree or master degree even phd or we can get the knowledge okay and you can get knowledge from readings Okay, readings a lot of uh, uh, books, you know, references, you know, standards, guidelines, articles, research paper, and all that uh, to gain to gain the knowledge. Okay, because as a trainer, that's the basics. Yeah? You must have the knowledge about the subject, and the knowledge not just the knowledge must be deep knowledge in that. Okay, you expect you are expected to have deep knowledge in that subject or on on the, on the subject itself. Okay, and knowledge also can be gained from uh, okay, uh, you 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 can you can observe. Okay, observe. You know, listen to uh, you you listen to the news and all that. Okay, you can listen as well. Okay, first knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, very very important. So one more thing, uh, we cannot have that many subjects or subject matter. Okay, impossible for everyone to have every knowledge, all knowledge. You know, deep knowledge. So we must pick a specific knowledge that we want to master okay in our training okay and then that lead to the second one the second one okay ideally we have the knowledge on that subject matter you also should have the experience in applying that knowledge for that subject <laughs> okay because it's easier if you are, are, are sharing something with anyone and often being asked examples okay how to do this you know can you show me some examples or oh, i can show you some examples so having the experience applying the knowledge will be the easiest way for you to show the examples for example myself okay i i'm always uh, my training always about energy management system and then my experience in personally i have the experience hands-on experience quite a long years of experience on how the system is being developed i help my client develop the system I help my client implement the system. I help my client uh, monitor the system. I help my client even until they get certified for the system by the certification body. So experience okay, is easier to train or to share with the participant. We have the knowledge and you have the experience. Experience we can gain from applying it either from our normal works or from our you have maybe you have to do some kind of uh, try and error. All right and all that okay so this how is it experience okay that's number two 
okay, experience on that particular subject, personally, okay. You have the hands-on, ideally hands-on experience, okay. So that is easier to deliver the subject, okay. It's easier to give examples, real-life example, where easily you can uh, relate to your subject. The third one, they call it skills. Skills, mainly I would say here, skills on the delivery or public speaking skills. Okay, the way we communicate, I would say public speaking skills. How we speak, okay, how we deliver, these skills can be polished or can be built or can be developed. Okay, the skill can be developed. And normally we develop the skills, we learn, okay, we learn, maybe we attend some trainings, you know, and somehow we, we try, we practice. Okay, and then over years, you know, as we are getting more and more experience, okay, we are going to polish our skill to become better and better. Okay, and that's all. Okay, and that's all. And ideally, on top of all this, okay, and on top of all this, okay, all that you have, let's say you have the knowledge, you have the experience, okay, and you have the skills, if possible, all this must have some kind of uh, validation. Okay, validation on that on that. You know, for example, that's the reason why I get myself, you know, certified as an engineering system expert. Okay, certified as a lead auditor for ISO 2001. You know, I did study, okay, I get my master degree in engine management. It's all about validation of my knowledge. Okay, and then how I get myself, uh, how to prove that I have the experience. Okay, that's why, you know, I have experience getting my client get certified with the engineering system for the ISO 2001, for example. Okay, so that's how is it. So all that must have some kind of validation. It's evident that you have the knowledge, you have the experience. Okay, so that people can, can question your credibility. And finally, on the skills, again, you have to get the uh, uh, validation of your skills. For example, skills in conducting training. You must have that uh, certificate from the HRD Corp, for example, as a uh, 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 certified trainer. Okay, skill on that, uh, validation on that particular skills. Okay, so that's all. Okay, again, uh, how to be a trainer. Okay, the first requirement, knowledge. Okay, knowledge, deep knowledge on the subject matter. Secondly, experience. Okay, hands-on experience already on the subject matter. And finally, the skills on how you can deliver the subject matter, your experience during the trainings. And ideally, all of that three, knowledge, experience, skill, must be validated by third party. You know, that's the, somehow, that will complete or somehow enhance uh, uh, your credential as a trainer. Okay, and now one more thing, being a trainer is we never stop learning. Okay, normally, I learn a lot even from my participants. Okay, from the interactions, from the exchanges between the, me and the participants, I always uh, learn a lot from them as well. Okay, on top of all that, okay, so you, need, you need to keep gaining the knowledge. Okay, you need to keep your reading, a lot of, like, being a trainer, I need to do a lot of reading. Because as a trainer, I want, I, I think I'm expected to have more knowledge than my participant. Besides sharing their knowledge with me during the training. Okay, so it's, being a trainer is never stop. Okay, you have to keep updated with the, uh, the new approach and all that, using all the technologies and that, and how to deliver. For example, those days, you know, before the COVID-19, my training, all only classroom training. And, and when COVID came, you know, uh, and then I started to learn how to do the online training. And then even now, after the COVID almost over, all right, now even I got the two modules of training now, online and also classroom training. So we must keep ourselves uh, uh, updated with the knowledge, try to use that uh, the, the, the experience, okay, the technologies according to current trends. Okay, with that, that's all my sharing about being trainer from what I've been doing for the past almost 20 over years as a trainer in energy management system, in particular now, energy management system based on the ISO 5001. So, all the best, okay? Uh, keep learning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera.